What's going on guys? Welcome back to another stellar video. Now one day I was just scrolling through Facebook, you know, as one does, when I just went in this loophole and I found this um Facebook group that posts hilariously unfunny minion memes. Like they're just these hilariously unfunny memes with minions on them that are definitely the the, the target demographic of these memes. The, def the, 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 the the target demographic is Karens. They're so hilariously unfunny, like this one, for example. Yippee! I don't have to use the alarm clock tomorrow. Ha ha. So I thought today we'd just take a look at some of these memes, have a ha ha at these memes. So let's do it. Have you ever listened to someone for a while and wondered, who ties your shoelaces for you? Um, that, that's never happened to me. I'm never having a conversation with someone, and then out of nowhere I'm just thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder who ties this person's shoelaces. I was walking down the street drinking out of the mug when this really, really cute dog comes up to me and he starts barking at me, and he's coming over, and I'm like, what happens if he bites mm. me? I don't know what to do. I wonder I really who ties don't know what's his about shoelaces to for him. Out at me, and then I drop my mug. And also, that makes no sense. Like, normally, don't you just tie your own shoes? Like, you don't have someone designated to tie your shoes for you? Maybe maybe I'm not, like, educated with Karen culture. Like, this woman is literally named Karen, but, like, I don't know. Ignorance can be educated and crazy can be medicated, but there's no cure for stupid. Actually, Amanda, there is a cure for stupid. It's staying as far away from this Facebook group as humanly possible. Pretty sure one third of my life has been spent standing in the middle of the room wondering what I came in here for. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, one third of your entire life, like, there's sleeping and eating and all that, but a lot of it is just standing directly in the middle of the center of your room, um, wondering where you came for. Like, you can't be standing, like, in the corner of the room or the back of the room or the front of the room. It has to be the middle of the room, the direct center. Karen, I'm calling you out. This is the same Karen from the last meme. How, how can you tell? That one third, like, did you conduct an experiment? Have you been doing scientific research your entire life as to what percentage of, of your life is spent standing in that direct center of your room, uh, questioning where what you came in for? I don't have to worry about getting kidnapped. They would bring me back in less than an hour. I mean, yeah, they probably wouldn't. Also, why is it just the same Karen person posting every single minion meme? Like, she's giving me content, but geez, come on. Lies I tell myself. Just one more episode, just one more chapter, just one more piece, just five more minutes. I mean, I guess? I get what they're trying to say, like, it's very addicting. Like, this is me scrolling through TikTok. Um, I can scroll through my For You page watching uh, people do dances for, like, 17 hours a day. But, like, the funniest part about this is they have it- the TV looks like a TV from, like, the Stone Age. And then, um, there's apparently a Minions book and 50-year-old mothers all over the internet love reading that. And then there's um, a piece of chocolate, which is probably the most believable, and then Minion's bed sheets. I also wonder if any of these um, Karen mothers actually have ever watched Despicable Me. Like, I watched it back when I was six, so I can't say I, that I remember anything about it. But I wonder how many of these actually like know what Minions are about and all that. A police officer came to my house and asked me where I was between five and six. He seemed irritated when I answered kindergarten. <laughs> Is everything expensive or am I just poor? You know what, Matt? It's probably a mixture of both. What do you call a banana who gets all the girls? A banana smoothie. There's like 17 things wrong with this meme. Like first off, just the joke. No. The fact that they took like NBC and made it NBC Minion Broadcasting YouTube channel. And also, what is that Minion? Why? This is just so much wrong with this. Hands up if you didn't get enough sleep last night. It's because I spent my entire night on this Minions Facebook group. Someone just called me normal? I have never been more insulted in my entire life. Well, I can imagine why. If you spend your time posting and being an active member on this Minion Memes Facebook group, I wouldn't consider you normal. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop. Pop, but dum dum dum. Good luck getting that one out of your head. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna get that out of my head. It's just gonna be stuck in my head on loop forever. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop. Pop, but dum dum dum. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop. Pop, but dum Yeah, I don't think dum, I'm ever gonna dum. get it out of my head. Lollipop. This is just a terribly cropped image that says my bad. 
Um, and then someone replied to it by saying, take care and bye. Who wants to give up society and be a minion with me? I'm down. Think of a number between 0 and 20, okay? I'm thinking of 10. Add 32 to it, that'll make it 42. Multiply it by 2, that'll make it 84. Subtract it by 1, that'll make it 83. Now close your eyes. I can't see what the rest of it says because my eyes are closed. Good job, Facebook. How to make sure you are a normal person. Number one, you have Facebook. Of course I do. I love Facebook. Number two, you have a cell phone. Um, yes, I have a phone. Number three, you're, or number four, there's no number three. Number four, you're wasting your time reading this. Number five, you didn't notice there is no number three. I, I actually did. Number six, there's no number six. So number seven, you check to see if there is no number three. No, I didn't. I already knew that. Number eight, where is number six, idiot? I already said that there was no number six. Who's the real idiot? Number nine, you're smiling because you know you're an idiot. No, I'm not. Number 10, where is number one? I don't even have to check where it is because I already know there's a number one. Number 11, you believed me and went to check. No, I didn't. Number 12, you're not normal at all. Thanks for that, Facebook. Well, anyways, that's the end of today's stellar video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, um, please drop a like. It takes like two seconds and it, it would mean a lot to me. Subscribe, turn on notifications. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. Make sure to check out my socials, like my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, all that fun stuff. If you want to help support my channel, go check out my merch over at teespring.com slash stores slash Manny Perez shop. Also, go check out my second channel where I like to post some extra content. Um, link will be in the description. Remember, one like equals one time you're just talking to someone and then you're wondering, wow, who ties your shoes? I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.